Welcome back to Smart Simple Savings, and today we're going to cover two different hotel credit cards. We're going to look at the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless and the Hilton Honor Surpass card. These two cards are their mid-tier level cards. They both come with an annual fee. Both of these cards have a lower card that has zero annual fee, and they both have an upper card that has like a five to $600 annual fee. But this is a great one for an entry-level place to start if you're looking for getting into the points game of credit cards and miles. And so we're going to compare these two and talk about which one is best. And there's not going to be an overall best. It's going to be what's best for you. But before I jump into anything about these cards, I want to talk about credit cards overall because there's a big caveat and is that you have to use this like you would a debit card and follow your budget. You need to be able to pay this card off every single month in full. If you can't do that and you let the balances roll over and if you're paying interest, that completely negates anything that the points are gonna give you because you're wasting money on that interest. So all the credit cards that we use now, we have never paid a lick of interest on. So that's what you have to keep the mindset of is that you can't just spend because you have the credit card. It has to be according to your budget and according to living beneath your means and to make sure you pay it off every single month in full to never pay a dime of interest. All right, let's look at the Hilton Honor Surpass card first. This card comes with zero annual fee the first year and then 95 after. Currently, the bonus of this offer is 130,000 points when you spend $2,000 in the first three months. After that, you're going to earn 12x points on any purchases of Hilton Hotels and Resorts. You're going to earn 6x on groceries, 6x on dining, and 6x on gas um, with no limit that I could find um, digging through the terms and service, which is great. And then you're going to earn 3x points on everything else. And if you can spend 15000 a year, you're going to get that free weekend night, which some of the other cards, it comes with automatically. But I think that's an easy goal if you're using this as one of your primary cards. You also get gold status with that. And so let's run through some of the perks of gold status. You're going to get 80% more points on your hotel stay. So instead of that 12x, that actually bumps you up to 18x. You're going to get free breakfast. Um, it says either continental or a free credit for two guests. And your fifth night is free on a consecutive stay. You're also going to get a free room upgrade whenever available. Amex also has a, a great deal going right now with the Hilton Honors. If you book through Hilton Honors, you can get a four night or four day three night for about 180 bucks at one of their top Orlando resorts. I also found this on Marriott that we'll talk about in a minute. But you can find some great special offers when you're a part of these programs. Now, I think the big perk is, is why you should pick this card is either you predominantly spend a lot of your money on groceries, gas, and, and eating out. So we have a family of five. So those are some of our food, food and gas are some of our big expenses. So that's one of the reasons I looked into this card. Now let's look at the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. This one doesn't waive their $95 fee for the first year. So you're going to pay that um, on the outright. After that, the bonus right now is 100,000 points after $3,000 spent in the first three months. You're going to earn 17 times points on any Marriott Resort stay. Then you're going to earn 3x on groceries, gas, and dining, cumulative up to $6,000. After that, it's going to drop down to the 2x, and you earn 2x on every other expense. This one does come with an automatic free night, and you get automatically into their silver status, of their, of their elite members group. Now with that silver status, you're gonna get a 10% 10, 10 points bonus on any purchases booked through a Marriott Resort. Now with that silver status, you automatically get 15 Elite Knights credits, and right now gold status is 25. So you can either reach gold status by an additional 10 night stays or 35,000 spent in a year will get you that status as well. They're also running deals through the Marriott Bonvoy program that I, found, that I looked up that show for about $200. You can get the same four day, three night stay at, at a lot of different Marriott resorts. So there's also some additional perks and special offers that all of these hotel cards do. Now I think you should pick this card if you if you travel more. They don't have as many um, points that you can earn through your monthly expenses, but if you travel more, they have a little bit better point value. And so you that multiplier on staying at the resorts will have a little bit better benefit. 
Now let's talk about that point value. Right now, Marriott Bonvoy, through a few different sites, range either from 0.6 cents to 0.8 cents um, on the dollar. Now Hilton's is a little bit lower. They range from like the 0.5 to the 0.6. All of these have moved to an adjustable schedule where in peak times the point values go down a little bit because it costs more points to, to get the same hotel. And so you have to watch that. And the one negative thing on Hilton is they don't produce their calendar of their peak times for their point, point value. Marriott does. But just a small caveat on those two point values. Make sure you understand the point value when you look into a card. A great way for you to decide if this is the right card for you, look at do you prefer Hilton over Marriott? Is there one resort you like better than the other? That's gonna be a big factor. And then also your monthly expenses. There is a website called thepointscalculator.com. You can go onto their site and plug in your expenses and then choose which cards you want to compare and it will tell you after a year what your point value will be and what the dollar amount of that point value is. Now this is a rough estimate, but it will give you a good idea of where which card you're going to get the most value out of. Alright, after walking through all of those, we have decided for, for us and our family that the Hilton card is going to be the one that we're going to sign up for. Because we're a family of five and we do a lot of groceries, gas, and dining expenses, when I put all our expenses into that calculator, we don't travel near as much, that we will get more points out of the Hilton Honors card than we will the Marriott. And we don't have a big preference between the two actual resorts. And so we're going to do the Hilton for a year. And if we decide to switch, I'll go pick up the, the Marriott Bonvoy and we'll try that one for a year. And that will give us a good decision. You can always downgrade to the, to the zero fee card. So you're not hanging on to two cards and one you're not using. So go out there and do this yourself run through the expenses you have to make that decision for you this is really if you travel more the marriott bonvoy may be better for you if you have higher expenses in those in the big categories for the hilton that may be better for you and then which resort you like better is also another factor so let me know in the comments which resort you prefer also tell me what are some of the top places you like to go and which of the the resorts that you liked better so we can help each other out and i hope you guys enjoy this Make sure you look down in the, in, the, in the description of the video. I will link to where you can sign it for both of these cards. That helps me out a lot in the time it takes to put, to put these videos together. And I hope you guys will continue to be smart, simple. Thank you.